Running in new spaces is one of my favorite things to do when we travel. Today, Matt and I are in Fredericksburg on day three of our Texas road trip adventure. If you watched the first two videos, you would have seen us drive all the way across the desert through West Texas along the U.S.-Mexico border and then hike up the tallest mountain in the state, Guadalupe Peak. Today, we have very different plans. After running a half marathon in the hills of Texas, we hopped in the car to start our day. Okay, so we have arrived at Goodwill. This is the first stop on our day in Fredericksburg and then Luchenbach. Ooh, yeah, that's a no. So there was nothing in that Goodwill, unfortunately. But now we're going to the downtown and we're gonna walk around and see what we can find. So we've arrived in Fredericksburg. This is a German town. So a lot of the signs have German on them, which is super interesting. Fredericksburg is a small town located in central Texas with about 11,000 residents. We were immediately drawn to the history and culture of this region, which is known for its wine country and strong German influence. Look at them! Look at that building, that's so cool. Uh, into a hotel. They have a oh. rendering of it. Wow. This is really nice. Look at this one. They have like a whole walking path where they explain everything and show you around. So yeah, we're gonna walk around and take a look. It's really beautiful here. There's so many nice stone walls um, and the German influence is very apparent. A lot of these buildings look very German. <laughs> Fredericksburg has an extremely interesting history of immigration. In 1846, Germans arrived in Fredericksburg and settled down. A year after settling, their leader met with several tribes of Comanche Native Americans to ensure they would be safe on that land. Today, this main road is lined with shopping and hints of the past rooted in the old buildings and styles of the town. heard that the wine around here is very good. So we're gonna see, this one's called Safari Winery. This place is so cool. <laughs> okay, so we just finished at the winery. We got a bottle here. We ended up getting like a sweet white. And now we're going to Lukenbach. <laughs> In half a mile, arrive at Lutenbach, Texas.
When the sky was black and still On the hill where the angels sing And it It's just like a dime Lukenbach was established as a trading post in 1849, with the post office slash beer joint slash general store opening in 1886. This trading post originally only catered to local farmers and Comanche Indians. But today, this is one of the main attractions for people wanting to have a real slice of Texas. The motto of this tiny town is, everybody is somebody in Lukenbach. Office closed in 1971. A white line on the floor separating the store from the post office. It marks the boundary line where beer cannot be consumed on government property. <laughs> That's awesome. Germany, <laughs> Okay, so that was Lukenbach, Texas. It was pretty cool. There wasn't a lot to do, obviously. There's like three or four buildings, but we walked around for a bit. We didn't get anything to eat or drink, and now we are headed to Austin area. We're going south of Austin to Bastrop, so we drive kind of like below Austin, then a little bit back up, and we're going to our first rodeo. We just arrived in Bastrop and we've come across a really interesting state park. It's their state forest and it's called the Lost Pines of Texas. So the pine trees here were moved here to this area probably because of glaciers. Uh, pretty interesting because Texas doesn't normally have the same type of pines that are in the northeast. There is a cow with a saddle on it over there. A literal saddle on the cow. <laughs> We have arrived at the Bastrop Rodeo. We are waiting for my friend Alana. She lives in Austin and she's driving down here to meet us. I haven't seen her in a year, so it's pretty exciting. And then when she gets here, we're gonna head in and it looks like they have an exhibit type thing over there, a bunch of food, um, places to eat and such, shopping. And then we're gonna go and sit in the bleachers and see what we see. I guess there's like roping tonight. There's cattle things. I don't really know. <laughs> there's the whole shebang. How's this? After buying some cowboy hats, we headed in to the rodeo. Oh yeah. Hey, welcome out to what a special occasion. 75 years of history right here at the Bass Drop Homecoming Rodeo. Our colors, our flags, our red, white, and blue times two. It's gonna make their way into the arena. After about 20 minutes of pre-rodeo ceremonies and prayers, the show began with bucking bronco horses. Ride, put a score to it, whole bunch of money. Come on, Lano Cowboy, get to, oh my. He's in a little trouble, he got to get right. Oh my God. He fought. There we go, come on, Brandon. Keep going, let's make it count. Yes, sir. That's drops. Friday night dating game. One thing we quickly came to realize was that a rodeo was not all about the riding. 
entertainment was also a huge part of the show. Hey, how is Bass Truck Texas doing on a Friday night? How are you, Bass Truck? <laughs> Hey, my mother-in-law's mad at me. For what? I didn't get her nothing for Christmas this last year. That's not very nice. I know. Well, she didn't use what I got her the year before. Oh, so you're punishing her. Well, what did you get her the year before that? A cemetery plot. <laughs> a cemetery plot. Oh. Run him a little longer down the arena than he would like, but he made short work. After watching adult riding and wrangling of all types of animals, kids started jumping on sheep and seeing how long they could hold on. Let's do it. Good job, for Nice. 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 Oh man, look at that. <laughs> I just, I'm wondering about you. All right, brothers, trophy nice. Let's go, Dante, let's go. The bull ride. All the bucket bulls go call G-Man from down across rodeo. He's going to turn back in the gate. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And look at that bucking bull spin. So, so what happens? There we go. We get our hands clapping. Who wants to see the cowboy ride? <laughs> Woo! Woo! To see the bull win. That's what I thought. Oh, come on, Lance. Come on, young cowboy. Sit up and ride. Yes, sir. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh. Still on our way to arise. Oh, my God. We couldn't leave the rodeo without trying some real southern Cheers. rodeo snacks. <laughs> Some corn and a turkey leg. Yeah. That's a huge turkey leg. I can put somebody up with this. Leg. I honestly just like, I feel very powerful right now. Yeah, with the leg? Yeah, I'm just like, I feel so powerful. I don't even want to eat it. It tastes good. I should have put some Tony's on it. Wow. Yeah.